Hi everybody, this is Mama Sue, and I've got a really cute earring for you that's really fast, easy, and a good money maker. There you go. Let me let me get that up closer to you. This is such a cute little pair of earrings. See there? Now, I sanded them off to give them a little antiquier look, and as they get older, they'll even look more antique -y. But those are just adorable on. Let me put them against white. Get this over here. I'm going to just put them down here against the white. And let you see what we've got. Now what I used down here is I used a fire polished uh, stone. As that little dangle there. Which is super cute. Fire polished. You can't go wrong with that. Well there are the cute little earrings that we're going to be making today. very inexpensive to make you can use any kind of a bead in here you can even go plastic because it doesn't look like plastic once you've got it in here it looks more elegant as you can see it looks a lot more elegant oops when you've got those fire polish beads in there aren't those pretty beads Boy, I'm messing up here. Okay, here we go. Get a hold of those. But those those are our fire, fire polish beads there. Oh, I love those. So it looks really cool when that thing starts sparkling and hanging on your ear, sparkling and shining. Yeah, but those beads really give it a kick. Okay, let's get started on this. You don't need very much for this. Now, these ones I made with a 4-inch piece of wire. This was a 4-inch piece of wire on these. But I'm going to go with a 6-inch wire this time. This I cut 6 inches. And then I've got... Let me show you here. I've got my ear wires here that we're going to be using. And I need two little wires right here to hold our beads on. I've got a few little spacer beads. I've got my two fire polish beads. And then I've got four of these little um, metal beads in, in the uh, gun black. So this should look pretty nice when I get it done. Okay, so we're going to start by putting our wire together. Let me pull this up a little bit. There we go. Um, I'm going to start by putting my pliers on here and bending this wire straight down. But I need to go with the round nose because I want it to be, because what I'm trying to make is that corner right there, that round corner right there. So I'm going to pull it down, oh, about two inches down on six inches. So you got four inches on one side and two inches on the other, or thereabouts. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect with this. You have a lot of play. Then I'm bending it down, and then I'm just going to grab these and pull them the rest of the way down. Just like that. Now we've got these two. mere images of one another. Now what I want to do is I want to take the top wire over the big wire like this and then pull it so that I have a nice little circle right there. Now I want to do the same thing with you. I like to do these at the same time because then they come out really nice. Small wire over the large wire and then pull. 
Excuse me. Now I want to see if I've got these the same. And they look pretty darn close to me. So I'm going to leave it right there. Now I need to start. Now that we're at this point. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we're Now wait. Let me show you how big this. Here, these fire polish beads are, let me see, they're a little bigger than a four. They're just a little bit bigger than a four millimeter. See there? So I bring it over here, it goes right through the five, and it's a little under the five. So uh, somewhere around there, um, a five would be really nice in this. Um, a full size five, but these beads here are kind of long and thin, so they're they're just a little off shaped because of the way they're cut and stuff. But they look gorgeous, even if they're teeny beeny beeny ones. <laughs> now, what we're gonna have to start with is this side here. Is what I want to do is I want to just grab onto this wire right here at the tip and I just want to start turning I want to go inward toward the other wire inward and I want to keep turning it until it touches okay it touched the other side see there now I want to come over this other side and I want to do the same thing and but I want to have it going toward this one so we're going to turn that around just like that and we're going to hold on to our wire and we're going to do the same thing I'm going to kick this around like this till it touches okay now that's touched now look this is what we've got now we want to get the other one ready like this too so that we have our mirror images that up nicely. Oop, I can tell that that's wrong because the it goes on this side because the little wire is over the big wire. Okay, let's get these ones all rounded up. Grab it onto the tip. Okay, get a hold of that. Oop. I've got a heavy wire here. That's why I'm having that little trouble. But you'll probably pick something a little bit softer. And for your first time doing this, I think you should go with something softer. And I need a little bit smaller hole than that. So I'm pulling it out. I'm taking it down toward the tip a little bit more. And turn. That one will be fine. Okay, now we've got that one. Now we've got to come over this side and get this side. Then once you've got this part done... You don't have to worry about which way to roll your wire because you already have a pattern. And, and you just got to roll that the rest of the way up. So if you get those rolled the right way to start with, you'll be in good shape. Okay, I'm going to grab on right here. And I'm holding that real tight. I'm holding real tight with that the pliers. Then I'm just going to start turning. Then I'm going to turn my pliers. And I'm going to turn again. Turn my pliers and turn again until it touches. See how it's touching now? It's touching that other wire. And it's about the right size. Now let's put these down and see what we got. Now we've got two wires like this. And if you're not set up like this right now, something wrong. You've got to be set up like this. This is how your wires are right now. And we're going to move on from, from this point. We're going to take and we're going to move the, the top wires in first. We're going to grab onto the to the lowest part right here on the on the the lowest part right here. See, see where my pliers are? We're going to grab onto that lowest part and we're going to start turning and just keep Kind of crawling up the wire. See how I'm crawling up? Keep 
Tokyo, you can't go no more. Yeah, I can. I'm going to pull this over here a little bit. See how this is kind of far away from me. Why are that, that, if I put my player in the hole and on this, it, it'll pull it in easy. Well, I'm going to leave that right there for now so I can get the other one going. It looks like a big capital list, like Mama Sue. Now I'm going to get this one. And I'm grabbing it down there on that low place. And I'm get you over the white. And I'm going to start turning this and we'll crawl. I'm crawling up. Just keep crawling up the wire. As you turn it. Now, I like to do it this way because I like to give my wire just a little bit of texture. If you don't want to scratch your wire at all, you'll want to take a flat plier and turn it and it'll help you out there but I'm not worried about that part because these are the the reason I chose this wire is because it's rustic looking now if I put those together those are pretty darn close I'm gonna leave it there for now this one needs to come out a little bit more And go up a little bit more. See how I put my plier right inside that hole? Then I then I have some control here. Well, that's pretty close. That's pretty close, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, now we're going to go the other side and we're going to start see how this is this is curled one way here and then it's curled around this way on this one but you don't have a problem because you already set yourself up so you know which way you're going to be turning so I'm going to grab it down here low and I'm going to just start slowly turning it Now, I know I'm going to have to go back, but I'm just trying to give it some character to start with, and then I'll go from there. Now, I'm kind of pulling it in with my fingers now. I think I want to twist this a little bit more. I can always pull it out a little bit. No big deal. Now, that's turning out pretty good. Let's see what we got there. I need to do some smoothing on it, but I want to go ahead and get this other one first. That's what we got so far. Now let me get my, my plier in here and start twirling. And I'm going to sneak up the wire. Now these are fast and easy to make once you get used to it. Because see how I'm, I'm just chilling and pulling that wire in. Now I'm pulling this in a little bit more. Now I'm going to pull it toward this wall over here. Now let me see what I got over here. I got to straighten this one up a little bit. But this is a, now it's time, uh, at this point you're just sizing them up with one another to make sure they, they look right and they look about the same size and all that good stuff. So I'm going to like this a little more. I like to play with my wire a little bit. If you get the heavier wire, you, you're not going to have... The reason I like using this too is because when I'm doing uh, uh, wire type work, um, if I use this heavier wire, I don't have to worry about it pulling open or anything or I mean these these parts are gonna stay they're pretty strong okay I want to make this one match this one 
So I'm going to turn this out just a little bit. Kind of round gate that. Because I really like the look of the other one. Now they never come out perfect. I mean they never come out exactly the same as your last pair. Like when you look at this. But they come out similar. I mean you know it's the same earring. But see there. There's your, your little one. There's your big one. But they come out really cool. Now this one I just want to tighten up this part a little bit. I'm going to put my my plier in the hole. I'm going to just kind of go around and kind of pull it in a little bit. Let me see how that looks. Well that's pretty good. Pretty good. I still got some little places that I'm not entirely happy with but for the most part it looks really good. That looks pretty darn close. And when you get that earring in there it even, I mean even when you get the dangle on there it even looks better together. You know, um, the dangle kind of takes away from any irregular regular areas on your earring. It's kind of a, a focal point. You know, when you get that still bugs me right here. Let me see there. I'm almost there. Yeah, <laughs> I keep me taking it out of the circle. I get so picky sometimes, I probably shouldn't play with wire. Because I want it just right. Some people aren't worried about that. And most of the people that buy these things, if they buy them, they're not looking at that. They're they're caught by the little piece hanging on the bottom. And just the swirls. Oh, that's good enough. That looks good. That looks more... Uh, that looks closer than not. Now we're going to get this cute little dangle that goes on the bottom. See there? We're going to get that. See how sparkly that is? Okay. Now, what we need for that is we need wires with the ball on the tip. Or you could always make your own. I, I mean, let me show you something. If you have one and you don't have a ball on the tip, what you can do is you can take your flat nose Take the very tip of that wire and bend it over and squash it down. Then you have a little ball nose on there. Now if you hold on to it here, you can even pull it back a little bit and, and it even looks more like a ball. If you need the ball bigger, you can roll it like this. Well, I'm not rolling it at all. You can always roll it a little bit. Grab onto it. And then pull this back. And there you've got a nice little piece there. That you can use to um, hold your beads on. See there? Let me show you how. cut this tip off because I used a certain wire. I just want to show you how this will hold it on, what it'll look like. Because it's just as good as having a 
it's just as good as having um, a little ball on the end. Let me see. See, it just shows a little flat piece on there. See there? A little flat piece. But it looks cute. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be using more of that type in the future. I'm trying to get down on some of my, trying to bring my load down on how many beads I have here and wires and stuff like that because I want to start fresh. So I want to um, use what I got and that's what I'm going to have to do when I get to those round nose. I mean those round ball um, ear wires. Okay, now I'm going to stick that ball on. I'm going to stick on a spacer bead. And I'm going to stick on my fire polished bead. Ha ha! And then I'm going to put another spacer bead. And a ball. Just like that. Simply really, really pretty beads. Okay, now I want to get the other one ready. We'll make them at the same time. We'd never have to worry about sizing them. Spacer bead. That's a flower kind. Oops. Oopsie. There you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, twist these wires because I might have to make a little place here. So I'm going to, I'm, on this one I'm just going to bend it over. Just like that. Then I'm going to bring it up to the top. I want this, this hole to stay, stay kind of, well, yeah, I want it to stay small. I'm going to roll it around toward me. And I'm going to move my plier so I can get it all the way around. Just like that. And then I'm going to wrap the wire. I'm going to uh, hang on to this with the pliers and wrap the wire. Put this around here. Now I'm going to wrap the wire around like this. I'm holding on to that the pliers really tight over here. I'm just wrapping it around a few times. Yeah, two times is enough. And I'm going to straighten my cut off this tip. And then squash down that little burr of an edge. And straighten up my circle. Now I'm straightening up my circle. Now I've got one of them made. See how cute those are? We should see how sparkly they are. And then I'm going to do the other one. Same deal. I'm grabbing on. And fold it over, move my pliers, bring it back to me, move my pliers so I can finish getting this wire around. Now I'm going to size them up to one another, make sure I've got them right. And those will be perfect when I get that wound around. Now I've got to wind the wire around and around this. So I'm going to hang on to it like I did before with my pliers. Put it in the hand that's easier for me to hang on to. <laughs> and then I'm going to start winding. Yeah, it goes that way. Then I'm going to start winding it. Oh, 
boy, I'm having, I'm not hanging on tight enough. Got to hang on to that thing. Oh, look. At, sometimes that happens. Let me get another wire. I can't find the cookies. <laughs> Get this out, get me another wire, and we'll be on the ball. Some of these wires are so cheap. But I get everything online. Normally it works out pretty good. Once you get it wound on there, it's not going to come loose. So it doesn't matter if it's a thinner wire. It works out good. Okay, let me see. Where did I get that wire? Okay. Some of these have bigger heads. When you get these um, these wires, it's a good idea to check and see what the size of that ball is. Because as you can see, these are two different size. If you can see that, there's two different size heads on there. And one's so small. This one here is so small that a lot of my, my beads will fall right off of it. Now this one, if you get it this size, it seems to stay on there pretty good. Let me see what millimeter that is. Just so we know. Okay, this is a this is about a two a two millimeter. See there? And this one here, I mean it's gotta be a one. Because look how small that is next to that. It's so tiny that it just doesn't it, it's just kind of a waste so I have to put a bead on that'll fit on here and then I put my beads on <laughs> so I that's kind of a waste it's a waste of my time you'll be a lot happier if you realize that those tips are bigger on some of them and smaller on others you'll like the bigger one better because of the convenience. Then it looks like you put a ball on the bottom. Okay, let me get this and try this again. Okay, metal. Uh, spacer bead. Oops. Fire polished. Now look, this blackened get your fingers real dirty but you're not going to have that, that antique look if you don't use this stuff you can rub that you can rub this off before you start i didn't rub any off before i started i normally rub it off a bit and then i i start and then when i'm done i'll oh i'll sand them a little bit to give them a little bit of, of look another thing you can do is you can squash the wire by, oh, let me show you. You could come in here and just put little indentations in your wire, or you could hammer it, and, and it'll give it a totally different texture. See how that's that's got the marks in it now? And it looks really cool when you, when you get the whole thing marked. But you want to do that before you wind this wire. Because it makes the wire bigger as you're squashing on it. You're getting a bigger and bigger wire. So, anyway, let's finish this one off. I like to throw my stuff away right away. Then I don't have a big old mess when I'm done. Now there's that one. Ooh, now you can see how sparkly those beads are. They're incredible. Hey, any companies that want that want me to um, show off their beads, give me a holler. Just send me a batch and I'll make something to go on. Um, anyway, we're going to put this here. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Push it away from me. Come up here. 
pull it toward me, move the pliers a little, then come straight down. Now check it with your other one to make sure it's the same size. I always check them. Now that is going to be a perfect size when I get that wrapped. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and just stick this in here and hold it and wrap it. How about that? Okay, now I'm going to grab onto this and go at least two times around. What? Two. Now I can cut that wire off. Get that little wire cut off. And then I want to straighten out my my little circle here because it's kind of bent. See there? Then I want to squash down wherever that little piece is. No, that that's too big. Your needle nose pliers is the best thing for squashing those down. Okay, now I'm going to put these together and show you what we got. See there? Got both of them together, same size. Now I've got to hook them onto the wire. To hook them onto the wire, I'm going to open this up right here. Just a little bit. See, I'm, I bent it up. I uh, bent it open. Then I'm going to put my little wire on. doesn't matter which way you put it on because it's the same on both sides on this. And then I'm going to close up my wire. And make sure it's closed all the way so that my bead never comes off. And there's one ready. See the see how the sparkle just gives life to the to the wire? Just that little bit of sparkle. Not too much, but just enough to bring your eyes to the to the um, work that you did on the spirals. Now I gotta get this one and then we'll put the um, ear wires on. See how I pulled that up a little bit? Stick on the charm. You can also make charms and sell charms online. A lot of people like their charms already ready so they don't have to deal with it. Just like people make polymer beads and different kinds of things and sell those online. Okay, now here's our mirror image of one another. Yep, well, <coughs> there we, we go. See that little shimmer? <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> I'm going to take a drink real quick and I'll be right with you. I haven't gotten that coffee in me yet today. Okay, um, I did this this video last night, but I noticed I was way out of out of uh, range for you to see what I was doing. That's why I'm redoing it today. I don't want to get used to doing those bad habits. You know, I'm trying to get better instead of <laughs> instead of keeping messing these up. Oh, what I just did was wires always come bent. I like to move the stuff out of the way and bend them back because I like my earrings to hang straight down instead of sticking out a little bit. Because with my ears, my ears stick out already a little bit. So I prefer my earrings to hang straight down. Now they're nice. And I'm going to open up the back. 
on the store bought it's always on the back and you're going to pull straight up never pull it out because it weakens your wire and there is a front and back to these so the the small wire is over the big wire so that's going to be your front and you're going to put the front on first so that it it faces forward and I'm going to shut up this wire and give it a little squash for luck <laughs> and there is my first one Woo and then um, I'm going to get this last one done these are, these are uh, faster when you don't have somebody talking so much like me I pulled straight up and then this is my front so my front has to go on the wire like this for it to go forward for it to face forward I'm going to close it up squash that wire a little bit and we have a beautiful set of mirror image earrings mirror image wire earrings let me see if I can show you these nicely there's one and then here's the smaller ones I prefer the smaller ones in this style um, but I love them both. I love them both. But for me, because I don't get too dressy very often. Um, but I like the smaller ones. I mean, they hang down pretty long. And these these ones way hang down there. But But aren't they beautiful? Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Let me put these down. That's what I have for you today. And I want all of you to take care. And God bless you. See you next video.